A lot of people are wondering what, what this express character is, what character they have to use it on. Okay, so uh, it can be kind of confusing. Just think of this express character as an additional track of rewards that you'll get um, for whatever character you choose it on. If you look at the website, the website says that you have to be... It, it can only be used on a character that's under item level 1,000 and at least level 50. Now, I don't know if it's a bug, but clearly you could use it on any character that's over item level 1,000. You can, okay? Um, and... But you cannot use it on a character that's under level 50, okay? Because I this th this character I just boosted, and she was under level 50, and, I, and it was blacked out like it should be. So I, I don't know I don't know why they would write that on the website, but you can. So what are the benefits of actually doing it on your main? Well, the only benefit is um, actually there there is no benefit. You you wouldn't want to do it because you get this right here, um, you get this chest right here. And this chest includes like tier three mats that are bound to the character, but the chest itself is is bound on bound to roster, so you can obviously move it around, right? So I'm going to show you exactly what how this express pass works and what you get out of it, so you can kind of understand it. You can make sure you use it on the right character. So I'm going to actually open this right now. I'm going to open it on my war uh, my my gun lancer war cannon here. Uh, I just used the Phaeton Power Pass on my Lance Master. Phaeton Power Pass works just like the Vern Power Pass we got at launch, which essentially just levels you up. Uh, I'll show you how that works, but it's literally just that, okay? This character is now at 960 Tier 2 gear. Now I'm going to use the Express character on War Cannon so he can benefit from it at an early stage. I'm going to go ahead and start event. Boom. We're done. All right, so now we see the tracks. Now, I really think that they should have made this visible before. Um, so you can see right here when I complete this, this, these are the rewards. I can get this reward here. I re I reached item level 250 and claim that, I can claim that reward. Okay. And here we go. Like training room, uh, Una tasks. A as I complete these, um, I'm going to be able to get these, these mats, right? So, um, let's just actually do this real quick. Let's, uh, go ahead and... I'm just going to quickly do this for the sake of the video. Boom. I do one there. Um, and as you can see, this one is now one out of three. Uh, and then the last one, let's just use it on Zanila, okay? All right. So we finished that. Now I can claim these rewards. Bam. I got it. Perfect. And then there's a level two track, three track, four track, and then they, and then a bonus track here. Now, um, you, the reason why you want to be careful with who you actually use this express character on is that notice that these are bound, right? These are bound when obtained. And obviously, if you use it on a character that has already reached uh, tier two, then you're going to essentially forfeit this. Like these Harmony Shards, they, they don't mean anything to your character at tier two because they're tier one, right? Uh, now, as you can see, they're tier two mats. So if you're not planning on boosting any other character to tier two and that's it, you're just like, hey, I want to play Lance Master. I'm not going to level up any other character. And I just want to level this up fast. It's fine. You know, that's fine. You could use it on your Lance Master, your Fate and Pass character, whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't, it's, it's totally up to you. Um, but you will miss out on the tier one rewards by doing that. Okay. You can still get the tier one rewards. Okay. But obviously they're, they're going to be worthless because this is bound on, you know, obtain. Um, but you can still get like, for example, these uh, engraving recipes and, and whatnot. So these are the tracks right here. You can't actually see level three and four yet. Although I do have screenshots of these from my viewers. Um, that's level two. Uh, where was it? Here's level four. As you can see, this gives uh, the tier two mats right here. Um, and then, yeah, pretty self-explanatory, right? You just finish this and then bam, you're done. You, you've got it on that character and that person's, that character is going to level up fast. So the other thing is this honing buff. Here's the honing buff that you get. So at level one, at tier one, I don't know if this is different. Is it, can we, can, can anyone confirm what the honing buff is at tier two? Is it this, is it still the same 20%? So I'm getting a total 40% honing success rate by doing the same at tier two. Thank you, chat. Okay. So tier two, it is a 40%. Tier one, it is a 40%. This is up till tier three. So it's, I mean, if you have the stronghold research effect, which everyone should have by now, um, that along with the growth boost for this character, you know, this could be really worth it. But 
this is the other thing that you get specifically for this express character only. Okay, you get this honing success rate. Got it? Cool. 